this woman will continue to produce. <laughs> Billions of money are still stuck somewhere. Hardly a day passes in Uganda without the media focusing on a fresh case of defilement, a sex crime against juveniles that is heavily dependent on the widespread poverty. Today on the show, we'll be asking how can we protect our children from defilement. And in the second part of the show, we'll be asking, when do you think is the right time for you to start educating your child or talking to your child about their sexuality? Welcome to Minibus. Show get it. Go. Yeah, it's an open mic, passengers chosen right Where we can bring what we know to life No topic off limits, no gimmick specific Giving a voice to the people for a minute Welcome, Welcome to Minibus Chogereko Thank you so much for joining us And we do this Monday to Friday, 6.30pm Every day of the week But also uh, do the, the highlights of the shows On Saturday, 12 to 1pm Where of us is Zit Sassi? Well, today we have a very uh, sad. Uh, sad thing to talk about. A new report by Amkan indicates that about 600 children are defiled every month in Uganda. Every, every month. month. Every, no, every, every month. month. Now, every and approximately 140 every week. That makes it 20 kids every day. Are being yeah, called yes. around 21. Ar around 21, 21 kids every day. Every day. Yeah. Why are they increasing? Why do you think these numbers are increasing? You find like most of these guys would be fired our young kids. Mm. All of them, like you find them staggering the road just after, after overtaking all alcohol. So they learn on everything that they get. Either can either can be a goat, either can be like a scar. So. <laughs> They just learn on everything that they get. Yes. Then secondly, I would say it's like HIV and AIDS. You find we have so many families who are being led by just kids. <coughs> now, when these guys learn on such families, these kids have no security. They have no one to like protect them, so they can easily do anything that they wish. Yes. The moral decay is way too high these days. People do no longer look at sex as something sacred. It's something that is fun. Mm. And that is irrespective whether you're a kid or you're an adult. Mm. A form two kid will come and judge you how he judge had you. the first time and then it was too nice. Eh? Mm. So he'll think of the best person to learn. Kids won't be no weak, so he'll go for someone who has experience. Yes. Yes. So it's not just about the big people being weird, mm. it's the, the fact that the kids too. have not have their values instilled. So you end up just going in for the fun. And then when police is recording, it doesn't record forcefully or what, it just records. And they just end up recording. That's mm. when it yes. stops. That's fantastic. And probably quickly, uh, maybe we, we, we learn the definition of defilement. <laughs> okay, defilement is any sexual activity mm. with a person who is below the age of 18 years. Whether you're using a sexual organ or an object. Yes. Yeah? And children do not consent. When someone is below the age of 18, the, the adult who is using this child yeah, is, has responsibility yeah, for the charge. The child does not consent. Is, is the definition of consent on technical ground or definition by law, the 18, no, it's not that's consent? By law. Or, no. Because 15 year olds are having active Maybe sex. Daughter and more mature then. By law, there is no consent for a child. The child so even if a child strips before you, even if she's 17 or 16, and takes off her clothes before you, if you do have sex with her, you're guilty of half consent. What do we call two kids? Who One is 16, the other is 15. That is child, what is child that? to child sex. Hey. It, it doesn't yeah. have yeah. its own name. No. That one is different. Child to child sex. <laughs> and for a child who is below the age of 12, they do not have criminal liability or responsibility. So it's but for the ones that are above the age of 12, you know, they, they will serve. Yeah, they will go through They'll, the court process, yeah. they are liable, you know, they will care for what they have done. Right. You're a parent. Yes, I am. What have you, what are some of those reasons you see that are causing this, the defilement cases to go up? I think it's lack of employment, which leads to frustrations and idleness. Mm. So when someone is idle, we, there is a saying, 
which goes that an idle mind is mm. the devil's workshop. Yes. So if you are idle, you, idleness can lead you to defilement. Mm. Because mm. Mm. upcoming parent. A <laughs> 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 my opinion, lack of sex sexual education, eh? whereby our kids and have not been taught eh? how to go about sex, you know? Mm. Like we need to at least to get mm. some seminars at school, let me say after class, during break time, they discuss about sex, eh? Because they are going to face it in the wrong run, though right. they are still young. Eh? Right. So they need to discuss it, what is sex, what is all about sex, what are the problems to come, the, you know? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, anything outside what what uh, we've talked about, what are some of those reasons you've seen? One of them is uh, early exposure to sexual activity where when you look at the housing situation in our country mm. increasingly you have a slum community people share one room mm. uh, parents and children are sharing the same room mm. so no as people soundproof. are enjoying yeah as, in, as people are enjoying their <laughs> conjugal rights right. the child is watching the child is listening i do counseling mm. so i've had a lot of these uh, cases you know, from children as young as three years, you know, landing on younger children or sleeping with younger children. But when you investigate further, usually the problem is they have seen mommy mm. and, daddy. and daddy. Most of these factors are intertwined. Yeah, they are related to one another. You find from poverty, you go to domestic violence, and from domestic violence, families break down. Mm. You find that the mother and the father separate, you find that it is actually the father who has defiled their yeah. own daughter. So and in this case, it's especially the fathers who stay alone with these children mm -hmm. when the mother has left. Mm -hmm. yeah? And actually, we have scenarios where the, the father says that this child looks exactly the same when I go to the mother. Yeah? So when the father looks at the child, you know, in there. It is double edged at the moment, even. Yes, you know, those are some of the arguments. Yeah? Mm. These people are into alcoholism, as people have mentioned out here. Yeah. And you know, all these factors, yeah, moral decay, pornography. Mm. So we are living in a world where, you know, people have no responsibility. Yeah. And I think the change has to start with us. You know, right. I really tell the people that I, I get in contact with. The change has to start with us. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, you, 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 it's a nice word you've used. The yeah. change has to start with us. Um, <laughs> I'd like us to get to uh, Malon Agaba, who is the PR of APCAN. And APCAN is African Network for the Prevention and Protection Against Child Abuse and Neglect. And when we come back, we'll look at how we can protect our children uh, from being defiled, uh, especially by people they know, yeah. but also uh, by people they do not know. Take a look at this. Parliament is on the rise lately. If you follow the statistics from police, you will see that at least 628 cases of defilement are reported every month. That, of course, signifies that at least 21 cases are reported. Here, even here at Ampkan, we received, for example, last year 742 cases of defilement. And this year alone, we have received 67 cases of defilement. Of course, there are several factors where defilement is on an increase. Uh, but, I mean, it goes back to culture and people thinking. I mean, there are some cultures who believe that if you have sex with a young child, I mean, you'll be cured of HIV if you have HIV, for example. So culture is one of the things. And also another issue could be the booming business. We already know that uh, defilement is very high in, in, in areas where there's, for example, like road construction or construction. I mean, they should be like a policy to educate these people, the road constructors. And of course another thing is things like pornography. It is very easy to get a pornographic CD on the street. I mean, pornography, the sex culture in, in Uganda, I mean, it's very uncontrollable. Protection has to begin at the family level. Children have to be protected first at the grassroots level. I mean, the roads are there, but the roads are not sufficient. First of all, there's need to strengthen. I mean, the, the, the jealous, I mean, the poli especially the police, family and child protection unit, I mean, to be able to handle cases of defilement very well. And also, we know it very well that laws alone cannot work. Then the children also themselves, there are things they can do to protect themselves. I mean, move in groups, number one. Avoid moving alone in isolated places, especially at night. Children should avoid gifts. 
they should avoid giving to teachers' quarters because much of the famine is also happening in teachers' quarters. I mean, children should be assertive. And also in some schools, like where Ampkan is working, we have like the letter link boxes where children can write these issues of the where they can share with us, and we usually frap those cases. And also the child rights clubs, which are usually in, in the schools where Ampkan is working, children usually raise these issues and usually address those issues. Uh, what can we do? What have you seen being done on some of the challenges that you think are hard because if a father raped, uh, defiles their own daughter? Okay, no. It's good you have up, up can guys here. Yeah? Mm. But I just want to know exactly if the cases are reported to them. Do they really follow up the extreme until these guys are taken to court, until they are maybe given a penalty? Mm. Because in most cases you find, we always watch these guys on TV. You hear, I reported a case. After I reported, it was landed here, okay. then after I ran out of money, that's where everything ends. Okay. So I don't know whether these guys really follow up to the extreme end, mm. and then these guys are taken to. You'll answer that question later. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Please, what, what do you think should be done to protect our children? The reasons why there is development in the urban centers is kind of different from why the other. Those cases of father raped are more in slums and then the rural areas. Mm. This side, the, it, the whole thing is, I think, commercialized and fun and fun best. Hmm? The urban centers, these mm. guys living yes. in Pololo, those, uh, height. Yes, it's all about swag. <laughs> so if we're going to reduce those cases, that's where I've lived. So I don't know about the rural areas. Chocasity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all about going back to the roots, the family, the family bit of it and the religious bit of it. Mm. If a kid goes to Sunday, not because to church, not because the mom told him to go to, to church, but because the mom encouraged him to go to church and he picked some sense and then he saw the family system as it's supposed to be, they have enough support to take them through and to educate them during that. Yes. Okay, guys, <laughs> Let me first tell my friend here that actually in the rural settings, mm. defilement is so so rampant. When he was talking, he was, you know, basing on the urban centers. Yes. But in rural areas, actually, they for them they treat it like okay, it's early marriage, but it is the actual defilement. Defilement, right? Yeah? And when we, we get these cases, we actually follow up, yeah? We, for example, if a child who has been defiled, you have, to, they, you have to do medical examination after reporting to the police, take statements, do medical examination, yeah? then you have to look at the psychological, yeah? Mm. Do counseling for this child and the family, then also follow up in the justice system. One of the challenges that we have is cases take very long in the mm. justice system and you find that even people lose interest in these cases. For example, it can take like five or six years. Yeah? Maybe a child was deferred when she was 14. Mm. By the time the person is charged who committed the offense, this child is already an adult. Yeah? So that's why people want to settle cases out of court. Yes. Yeah? I rather get maybe Million and I move out the really and life goes on. Yes. Right. However, right. we also have challenges where people do not know what to do when it happens. So you find that people report very late when there is no evidence. Yeah? When the evidence has gone away. Yeah. So by the time they come to report, the evidence is insufficient. is sufficient. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um like she says. In defilement cases, the burden of proof is on the victim. Mm. So the victim has to go every mile to convince the other parties that really you are a victim. So the whole issue of people showering their babies, bathing <coughs> the babies right after the incident has happened, that erases the proof. Yes. So if you come to report after that has happened, the semen is gone, the scratches are gone, if it's a week after, 
uh, the scratches are healed, the bruises are gone. So, so part of the problem is that if you do the confirmatory test, yes, the report will indicate hymen ruptured. However, to be able to pinpoint who ruptured the hymen at the time, would be a bit difficult. There are thousands of men out there. So how do you zero down on Brian man, and yeah. not a James? Yes. That is why the timely examination becomes very critical. Mm. Part of the issues. Right. Yeah. For the lift. <laughs> yes. I wanted uh, to know the penalty that is being put on the person who has the file. Mm. Well, the, the penal Court Act Section 221 2129 uh, really tells us death penalty is the maximum. Mm. But of course, the question is how oh, often you, mm. is this done? Mm. Has it ever been done? Yeah. Well, the reason that's why I've asked that question is if the penalty was, was like uh, heavy, that's being put on people who have been filed and it's acted upon, then I think would it would be, reduce. Yeah. Right. Show, Before the break, we are talking about uh, the increasing number of children that are defiled every day. Contacts on your screen. Please continue this discussion on Facebook, Twitter, or send us an SMS 6565. Before you, you, you get out, in your own <laughs> opinion, what do you think is the right age to really talk to a child about sexuality? When did, you, did your parents ever bring up this topic? No, I first heard it from school and I was in P3. P3? But then I didn't know what it meant, so I don't think P3 is the right age. <laughs> now, for a girl, I think the adolescent stages, because before that, most of us look at sex as a taboo. Right. Yes, someone mentioned sex. I remember the first time I had the word in P3, I, my friend told me, say it again or I'll report you. He didn't know what, but I was too scared I even had to tell him the word, because I thought I'd put in something so huge in my brain, mm -hmm. you know? That, now that's the mentality when you're a kid. However, when you get at, that's usually around P6, P7, that's when kids are 12, 13. You're starting to, you know in P3 they tell you sit boy, girl, boy, mm. and then it's a punishment. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> when you, no, when you, that's how they maintain silence in a class, in those early yeah. classes. Eh? They're like boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, it's girl. It's a punishment. Because they know boys won't talk with girls. Then when you get to P6, P7, there is that, now my best friend is Helen. You know mm. that stuff, eh? mm. Yes. So that's, uh, I think, the right time to, to tell someone, yes, Helen is a healthy friend, but if you don't control the healthy friendship with Helen, things can go and out healthy. of hand. That whole topic, when people get to the adolescent stage, when they are, their minds are beginning to open up. Oh, fantastic. Thank that's, you, that's, that's a nice that's, one. That's <laughs> yeah? This is a punishment here. <laughs> yes, I'm you too. You, you have too. to give yeah, us your opinion. You can wrap it up eh? while you can yeah, tell us okay. here. It's okay, you can tell us from here. When was the first time you, you heard, heard about sexuality? At school. Because mm. mm -hmm. um, there is some teacher who came, who was a woman, uh, like a lady. She came and started like telling us about sex and the bad things about it and like the way she would actually treat guys and not like go deep as in like, girl tells you you come at my place tell him you know my dad doesn't allow me to go to mm. right. yes. mm. but in your opinion what is the right time the right that thing. a child should know about these things no like these days a child can even be like in p1 but already no sex so as soon as like now because even, even like the videos we show on tv like this Musicians who sing about like, for instance, a message, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it, a kid who is as young as he, you're talking about, you're singing about a message. That's bad, but you're hoop over. You understand? So I think, I think as as long as someone tries to understand like uh, something like that is bad, whether she's in two one, p two, start talking about. I mean, the the side effect mm. of sex. Right. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, in an era where a child well, sings the whole MSS okay. song <laughs> and, and it's very, very disappointing. You find kids on the streets singing. Right. How do you... When, when, when do is you, the right when do time? When you say kat let us talk about. Yes. I think, in my own opinion, children grow up and 
grow like any other human being, they grow different at different you know, rates. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And that's why you find that some people grow faster than others. So when a child really shows eh, that they know what about sexuality, Actually, you should be ready to answer those questions. Yeah. No, <laughs> the problem is no, we okay. usually intervene when things have gone wrong. Yeah. But as early as the child has been born, yeah, you know, they record experiences. Yes. Things to do with early childhood development. Mm. Yeah? A child is born with a hundred thousand billion cells. Mm. Yeah. At, so at only what thirty-five age? when they are just born babies. Yes. Only thirty-five percent. Is used up of the brain, yeah. So all the other percentage is blank. So they are just recording, yeah, from birth, from infancy. So all these experiences that children go through, yeah. By the time a child two years old, they have recorded so many things on right, their brain. Right. So when things go wrong, yeah, we just look at, yeah, the childhood, the, yeah, the status quo, but not knowing that from our childhood things we are not moving well right that you know it's like a flash disk the memory of a child is like a flash disk mm. blank fill it with anything good bad it will go there okay. so it's incumbent on the parents and everybody around the child to make sure that that flash disk memory is filled, filled with, with the right stuff, stuff. if the wrong stuff goes on do everything within your means to correct it mm. so that's why the whole idea of information is important well, I'll ask, I'll ask the gentleman, gentleman because this is... <laughs> when the child asks you, say, I'm going to lose my mom. That's true, that's true. I don't know. What has been your experience with your children, Yes. I'm going to say, 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 at your man, I get a cook and what what and cook the gilded. Now, Jimmy to Nachi Rabba. One of Wanga gets a cook from Bulanti Ruachi and kids and visitors. Well enough, it was a young and feeling to stake up to a Right, that's mm, well. If you're a parent and you've had that awkward moment when a child all of a sudden says something, Mommy, and you're what like, is, What is menstruation? Uh, <laughs> um, you don't know what to do. This is your show today. When is the right time to, uh, you know, about sexuality to your children? Many of the kids, especially in our generation, have discovered these things through our friends. True. When you ask your parents, they are like, Um, um. Have you done your homework? <laughs> when you've asked the question. What, what is your experience on sexuality? <laughs> Me, my, my... I like what that gentleman said of in primary, sitting next to a boy was a punishment. <laughs> mm. You had to have your kanika green because you know PE, they will strip all of you naked. Right. Then we, we started wearing white vests covering what was not there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know. <laughs> but in my opinion, eh, this is this is how early you should start explaining things to your children. Right. Just take a look at this video. My daughter, the moon, that can big star, you know, my see at night, which gives us light at night. Even me, that's what I thought when I was in class, but today I was so pleased. Uh -huh. I don't know which I, I should even tell you in public. Oh, tell me, you are my daughter, you know that, eh? Okay, today. Mm. Today we were in the class. Uh -huh. You know happened? this girl which is called Maria? What happened She's to her? big, the one which is bigger than everyone else in class. She sits mm -hmm. behind. Yeah. So today we were in class, then the teacher, she tell Maria mm -hmm. to go and wrap the blackboard. She get up, she goes, she wrap the blackboard, but when she passed, mm -hmm. she was no splitting. So for her, we were like, teacher, teacher, Maria, she's feeling pain, she has been no splitting. On her skirt, there is blood. Then the teacher says, no. 
Then she sent Maria out to the office. Then when we asked the teacher what it is wrong, then the teacher, then the teacher she said that Maria she's in the moon. <laughs> Yet we were seeing her there that Maria was she's in the moon. No. <laughs> it was. Let me tell you, my daughter, it's not. She was actually that teacher was not meaning the moon. It's actually menstruation period. Meaning what? Menstruation period. Actually, Mami, it she's sick, sorry, Maria. Actually, it's natural for women. Eh? Even you are going to experience it, my daughter. The, the, your mother will explain to you. Please. Hey. Yeah. Is there a food? Yeah, actually, you go to the kitchen. Your mom is there. Mm. Yes, she's waiting for you. I don't believe you. I am not believing you. <laughs> she's waiting. <laughs> Of course, every day on our social networks we engage you and uh, I got an interesting comment. Canalo Prince says, the answers lie within us. Serious punishments to the offenders and reawakening of cultural norms and values. And most of you recommended that you should castrate the defilers. And I see kids in high heels. I'm still baffled. Mm. See, like a kid struggling in a high... What are you doing with that child's legs now? Right. Putting them in high heels at that age. Right. Uh, of course, to Jakuda, to get about this, uh, every day, research is being made every day. And uh, what I need to you, uh, this is my disappointment in parents who have not protected their children. What you did not get enough from Mbuzi, Mbuzi, Mbuzi Yabuao. No one are you. Are you. Are you increasing the age. Right. Mm. Tomorrow, to get up what it was a situation. It's been part of the marital, uh, the marriage and divorce bill, marital rape. Right. How does it happen? When does it happen? Is this even something we should talk about? Mm, then to my little boys, now most of us are on these mobile money things of phones. If you received money by mistake, mm. that it's not yours, but it appeared you have 500,000 on your phone. Now, do you make sure I return it? Yeah. You begin researching to look for the owner. We got very interesting opinions off the streets. Just take a look. Oye nanyi waye tuba tutegeraganye. Na muna apa yo kasente mudi za sente ze. Muzayo kubanga sente zo teziba zangi. Nalonga aba za de buzazi. E bali ziki. Nga ziki zizi kusimu yangi. Sitegedi ana asindisa. Ningina ne bazimpa. Ngina zire buzi wakani nebaka. Mze mara kuzire kaone mara week namba nge sente kweziri. Bwera wanga zirudeko ku week 2 nenzo ndioka nenzi jako nenzi teke kunsao Awo awo the christian in me eh mm. Eh jie fa nenzo kuka muziza Muka mansi And of course get a facebook uh, made by Zugana tweet us at made by Zugana and send us a text to the phone 65655 and if you miss these shows Monday to Friday to Friday there are highlights on Saturday from midday to one o'clock if you miss that too go to YouTube put my name put brand's name put mini buzz and you'll access them chap chap 22nd of this month will be in Kalanga Lava. We'll be as if having a whole event. Please wait for us. <laughs> 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 <laughs>